Well, well, we finally got the car working enough so we can do extended pulls, thus giving the opportunity to get a baseline number on what this dang thing does with this new setup. So I have done uh, quite a few drag runs in the past when I was doing different things, trying to test performance gains, you know, with the wastegate actuators, the spark plugs and all that stuff and weight reduction video. Uh, and I would do a 40 to 80 mile per hour run starting in third gear around 30 mile per hour. You got to think that the last engine, the turbo, um, would kick in about 3,000, 3,500 where it would really, you know, full boost would really start coming in. So it kicked in a lot earlier, a lot harder than it does with this current setup, the way I have it dialed in now. So now with this setup, with you know, the way it runs now with more turbo lag and some small adjustments just to get it from going into, uh, it, you know, protection mode for certain reasons. I want to now log the car with the draggy same 40 to 80 run and see where we stand for our baseline for future tuning reference. So any changes I make now, I can reference this video and the log I get today and be like, yes, the changes I made made the car better. It is faster 40 to 80. And you're probably like, well, why aren't you doing something like uh, 50 to 100 or 60 to 130? That's what you need to be testing because I don't live in Mexico or on a racetrack. I have to keep things reasonable so I can fit 40 to 80 in the space I have. That's what I have to work with. I still think it's a good set of data um, it's a realistic acceleration for a street car. So that's why I like doing it. So I wanted to reference the last run I had for the draggy, but I go into my draggy account and I'm like, okay, where's all my runs? They're all gone. I had to like re-log back in because I haven't logged into it in a while, but they're all gone. I don't know where they went. The draggy app deleted all my files. So I had to actually go back into my uh, YouTube videos, thank God for those, and reference the last video I did when I did a uh, 40 to 80 run in this car. And now I picked this video particularly because it gives me a very strong reference because this was the weight reduction video where I you know, ended up pulling what? Almost 200 pounds from the car? Was it 200 pounds? I don't know, it was a lot. So it made a hell of a difference in how the car accelerated. So I thought, well, if this car can be just as fast full weight as that run was with weight reduction, then that's a good place to be. That 4080 run I did in that video was 4.91 seconds covering a total of 453 feet. Um, so that's kind of where we are. It was hot that day, 92 degrees, 2500 DA. It's a lot better today. 81 degrees DA is like half. So we have some pretty good conditions here to get some real world data um, for a street car. So with that said, get the car on, get it warmed up, and uh, I'm gonna go out to the same stretch of road that I've done those previous runs on so it can be as apples to apples as it can possibly be, and we'll get our baseline run for the new setup in Buster. So I guess with that out of the way, let's go hit the road. All right, about to do our pull here. Reset or reset. Okay, res resetting draggy. 3000 RPM, 30 mile per hour, hit it. Ooh, Ooh man. I don't think that feels slower. I know it was a little bit getting in the boost, but that definitely felt pretty good. Curious to know what the draggy said. All right, so I just got home. I'm gonna take a look at our draggy here. Remember, our uh, target to beat is 4.91 seconds. The time is 5.10 seconds. I was figuring it would be a hell of a lot worse. But taking a look at the graph here, it, it actually don't look too bad. It actually was pulling decently strong for the first half. Um, then it tapers off. What I notice very differently about this run compared to the last time I did this run was the way the graph looks. You know, we're, we're talking about two tenths 
of a difference, a little, little less than two tenths of a difference. The way the run started off before was it, you know, hit a little bit harder, but it tapered off a lot quicker. And especially on that second half, it tapered off much, much quicker. Once again, we know that is due to those load limiters that are now removed or raised a little bit. But that's good. This is all data that I want it now. Considering it's only two tenths slower, considering all of the handicaps I have, it actually puts me in a good place, I think. I think this engine's gonna make um good power once we get it dialed in. Now I gotta write up a good tune. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but I'm gonna work on a good tune with all the data I have. And then once I get kind of something I feel is good, I'm gonna go data log it, make sure everything's good, and then we'll run it again and compare it to our baseline, see if we made any difference. We're gonna go whip up a good tune. We'll come back and try this again. One eternity later. Man, it's been a while since that last clip you saw. I thought this was gonna be like a week tops worth of work to kind of get something good with the, the tune on 93. And I was completely wrong. So I don't know how many revisions I've done in the last three years, four weeks, three, four weeks. I don't even know. I lost track of time. <laughs> since I started this whole damn video. But now I think I'm pretty good to go. I'm not getting anything too crazy. I feel good about doing the uh, run here for the comparison to see if we made Buster any faster. I guess with all of that out of the way, I'm gonna get Buster going. We'll get down to the stretch of road that I do my uh, test on and we'll see what happens. See if all of this work has paid off. Let's go ahead and get to the stretch of road. All right, about to do a run here. Reset the draggy. And see what it's got. Oh man, I think the Keats killing Buster today. Oh goodness, I don't know if that was really any faster. The heat is killing it. It feels better though, so I know it's making power until it's not. But there's only one way to find out. Let's look over the draggy data. So let's see what the almighty draggy has to say about that. All right, so now that I'm back home, go ahead and look over the draggy data and see where Buster stands. Like I said, I don't think I gave Buster a fair shake today. It was really hot and um, the car will hold itself back. It won't command a certain air load if, uh, if it's too hot, which it is. So I think that held it back, but let's see if it was still enough to beat our target time. Now remember, we're still trying to beat the four point was a 4.91 seconds with the weight reduction on the old engine stock tune. So. Did we do that? Eh, <laughs> oh, no, no, we didn't. We got close, but no, we didn't do it. 5.08, oh, that sucks. It covered the distance in 457 feet where before with the weight reduction it was 453, 4.91, 5.08. Oh, I was so close. If it was cooler out, it would have done it. Hands down, I know it would. The heat is just taking it all away and it's doing it by design. Oh, this is where the meth is gonna come in handy because uh, as you can see, it's like this. This is the weather in Florida most of the year. The car has to be set up to run optimally in this kind of conditions all the time. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I can't say I didn't try. The car is still running a hell of a lot better than it was. Also, what is killing me here is the turbo lag that this car has now versus it did on the old setup. You know the issues I've been doing with that. If I can get that turbo lag where it was before, this would undoubtedly even be faster than the run I'm trying to beat in the heat, but it is very laggy. It doesn't reach max boost until about 4,000 RPM. So when I'm doing these runs and I'm comparing it with a third gear um, pool, you know, it's going to severely hinder the time. Now, if I start it in second gear at a lower speed, it would be undoubtedly faster, even from a stop and let it go through the gears. It would be undoubtedly faster, but 
The reason why I do it in third gear at around 30 mile per hour because it loads the engine up and it, it gives you a lot of good data. Obviously, I still need to work out this dang boost um, lag. So it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. I adjust a wastegate actuator arm too much, I get too much lag. If I adjust it too little, then I get boost spikes. I can't freaking win. But I'll get it there. I'll get it there one day, don't you worry. It's still, like I said, a hell of a lot better than it was. With that, I'm gonna look, I just wanna look at the graph here on the draggy and see, cause that's a good bit of data too, the accelerometer that it has. And it tells you where the car is pulling. So if you look on the uh, run I was trying to beat, see at the beginning how it does kind of have a nice start and then it tapers off in that like second box there. That's because the turbo would kick in a lot sooner and then taper off where it's completely backwards in this setup now. You see how when the boost came in, you see that little dip and then it goes up and it holds that power in the mid range through that second uh, cell there. And then it tapers off a little bit, but not nearly as much as it did on the factory setup. It's a little bit more consistent, especially in the upper RPMs. So it's a bittersweet, really. You know, I was really hoping for a better result, but I, you know, there's, I can't control the weather and I'm not risking the car um, and this engine to satisfy my wants for getting that time. So it's just, it is what it is. I'm still very limited with what I have and I'm still learning all the ins and outs of this tuning, right? I did take a data log uh, just to see where things were. I wanted to see where the power was according to what the car thinks it's making and all that good stuff and see if we're even near our targets. And we'll take a look over the data log and see where Buster is horsepower wise. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oakley dokily. So here we are. Here is our run. So uh, a couple bits of data I want to go over. I started, let's see, I go watt right at about 3500. And uh, yeah, look, it's still building boost. It didn't build max boost until, oh my goodness, 4,500, 17, 20 at 48. I gotta really fix that. <laughs> That's killing my time. Yeah, so it gets about 23 and a half and then it tapers off a little bit. And then this kind of holds right around that number. Like I said, it's just, it's it's hot. The car will not allow any more boost. The air load, which was, where was the air load? Air load was, it shouldn't be higher than a 2.2. Yeah, look, 2.1 desired two. So it doesn't want any power right now. It's, it's like, nope, I'm not doing it. But thankfully, my knock retard, um, is a lot favorable now. I didn't get any positive knock retard. And it looks like I got a max of 9.3, 9.5 degrees of uh, timing. That's pretty good, but the boost is lower. So that's probably why. The car would normally be around 25 PSI and hold above 20, but it, it wasn't during this run. Okay, so that's all great and dandy. How much power did the car make Kirk. Well, I guess that's what we're going to look at now. So let's go down here to this bottom area. And this is our, uh, this is our dyno graph right here. This is about as close as I'm going to get at the moment. So, uh, the last time I did this, I think the car made, I think the most I ever saw it make was like 360, something like that. Um, according to this metric, uh, so if it makes more than that, then I know I'm making more power. So, uh, let's see, where was my shift points too? I need to mention, I did raise my shift points. It's shifting at 60, 6,600. So that, that also is, is something to think about. 6,600. So let's see, we're going 315, 315. And let's see. Boost comes up, 6,000 RPM. We're at 388 horsepower, 323 torque. Oh, do we have 400? Do we have 400? Yes! Oh, Buster made 400, what was it, 403 horsepower? And 
321 pound feet of torque. That was at 19 psi and 10 degrees of timing, 403 horsepower. But that was also at the top third gear. You know, the one to one gears, I think it's seven. The last dyno ish pull I did was in fifth. So, but throughout, uh, let's see, this would be third and then shift to fourth. It went. 370, 380, 390, and then I think this is where I let off right here. See, it kind of just tapers down and done. So, yeah, according to this, the car is making a lot more power, about 40 or 50 or so, um, which is definitely noticeable. And if it wasn't for that lag, it would be so much quicker than it is. But unfortunately, you see how long it takes to build boost, but it does give a nice linear power band, no crazy spikes or anything. So I don't know, you know, there's a lot that needs to be adjusted still, but I mean, you can see we've made some serious, serious improvements. So yeah, not too bad. Buster here is making 400 horsepower. So if that is correct, which it feels about right. That means if it's 403 and then let's see, we subtract 14%. So that'd put us about 346 at the wheels and um, it's not bad, but obviously that's a far cry from what I'm aiming for, um, but it's a lot better. So it's now making at the wheels what it was stock. So if that's not an improvement, I don't know what is. And that was my whole goal for this video is just to make one improvement over factory power. And we've done that. So I'm happy. It ain't the power I want, but I wasn't expecting it to be. It wasn't the time I wanted, but that's, you know, it is what it is. I can only make it better from here. There's still, I, like in the log, I noticed there's some things I can improve on. I think for 93, I think I have it mostly figured out. Now, the next step is see what happens if I whip up a nice, you know, E30, E40 tune. See if I can pick up another, I don't know, 30 or so horsepower. I would love to see the car somewhere around 400 wheel. That would be great. I don't think I'm gonna get there without meth though. And then of course the meth kit goes in and that's when I think the car is really gonna wake up and shine. And um, what you can see with the cams and at even 20 pounds of boost, the car is making power. It just keeps going up. It climbs with RPM, power doesn't drop off at the top end. So I don't think I'm limited there. It's just gonna get better and better. And um, yeah, so I guess until I uh, get a nice E30 tune figured out, that's gonna finally end it for this video. So of course, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know if you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for next Cars Creative video.